Work out. You get home, work out. Let's start. Hey guys, let's get straight to work. You should be on page 224 and 225. Um, this is tough stuff. Let's just work together and see what we can do. It took Otis six hours to travel to the Grand Canyon, one step at a time. Along the way, he took 18 minutes to get gasoline and 53 minutes to eat. How much time did Otis spend driving? All right, so they like to make us subtract. Look at this little dinosaur dude. How many minutes are in one hour? He wouldn't ask that for no reason. He wants us to change hours into minutes. Let's do that first. Hours can get turned into minutes if you multiply by 60. For that, you better know your times tables. 6 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36. But don't forget, there's a 0 at the end of that. So we add a 0 there too. Now, we have minutes. We turned hours up here into minutes. So now we can subtract 18 and 53. I wouldn't subtract first. You know what I would do first? I would add both of those together so you can subtract both of them at the same time. If you subtract first, then you have to subtract the other one right after that. But if you add them both together, then you can just subtract once and be done. 3 plus 8 is 11. Carry the 1. 1 plus 5 plus 1 is 7. All right, all right. Now we can't subtract. 360 minus 71 will get us how many minutes uh, Otis spent driving. 0 minus 1, you can't even do that, so we got to borrow. Thank you, 6. You turn into a 5. Our 0 gets turned into a 10. Ten, 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. Can't do 5 minus 7. It's too small. So we, we borrow one more time. Turn that 3 into a 2. 15 minus 7 is 8. 2 minus nothing is 2. The answer, 289 minutes. That's really sloppy. Sorry about that. <clears throat> 289 minutes. That one actually wasn't so bad. You hope you get ones like that. I have a feeling they're going to get harder. Ronald and Cindy ran a 400 meter race. Ronald's time was 1 minute and 51 seconds. Cindy's time was 2 minutes and 34 seconds. How much faster was Ronald's time? Ooh, oh my goodness. Tricky, tricky. Guess what this 400 is for? Nothing. <laughs> All they want to know was who was faster, and you have to just look at the times for that. This 400 is unnecessary information. It's put in there to try to trick you or confuse you. What they want you to do is they want you to subtract one time from the other time. So let's do that. Only problem is, only problem is, the fact that this is in minutes and seconds, minutes and seconds, it messes us up. So let's turn this one minute and 51 seconds into only seconds. So you're gonna add 51, that's gonna happen. But how many seconds is in one minute? You should know this. 60 seconds. So add it up and you'll get 0 plus 1 is 1, 6 plus 5 is 11, 111 seconds. Let's do the same thing for Cindy's time. She has 34 seconds. But how many seconds are in 2 minutes? Well, if 60 is in 1 minute, in 2 minutes it should be 60 plus 60 or 120. Add that up, 0 plus 4 is 4, 2 plus 3 is 5, 1 plus nothing is 1. Now we can finally find out who's faster. Who's faster? Who's faster? Well, you do that by subtracting their times. 154 minus 111. 4 minus 1 is 3, 5 minus 1 is 4, 1 minus 1 is nothing. Uh, who's, oh, how much faster was Ronald's time? Ronald's time was faster by 
43 seconds. Not so bad if you don't let them trick you with that 400 and if you know how to turn a minute into seconds and if you don't mess up on the adding and if you don't mess up on the subtracting. Do you see how many little steps there are and how important it is to know all those little steps? Last one. Victoria has two $20 bills in her wallet. She spends $12.25 on a gift and $5.25 on a card. How much does Victoria, how much money does Victoria have left? Alright, so first let's uh, see that she has $20, right? And how many cents? Well, zero cents. Um, let's add up what she spends. Let's add that up. She spent both of these prices, so let's add that up. Twelve twenty-five plus five twenty-five. <clears throat> five plus five is ten, but you got to carry the one. One plus two is three. Plus two is five. Put that little dot that you see straight down. Two plus five is seven. One plus nothing is one. Seventeen fifty. But that's not the answer. That's how much she spent. We want to know how much she has left. In order to do that, we'll subtract it from the total that she had. She had twenty dollars. It says so in the problem. So let's subtract real fast. Zero minus zero is zero. Um, can't do zero minus five. Better borrow. Oh, can't borrow. Oh, boy. All right. It's going to be a big borrowing chain. That 2 turns into a 1. This 0 is going to turn into a 9 because that 0 gets to be the 10. All right. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 7 is 2. And 1 minus 1 is nada. The correct answer is 250. Amir chose A as the correct answer. How did he get that answer? Well, let's write this in your own words, okay? Amir chose A, and we chose A. So Amir did the same thing that we did, which was correct. So all you have to do is explain, what did we do? Well, first, we added up the 1225 and the 525. We got 1750. Next, we subtracted that from $20. That's how we got 250. I'm not going to type all that up for you. You're going to have to write it in your own words. You can replay the video and listen to me explain it again if you want to, but I want you to write it up uh, by yourself. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for, for homework tonight. Thanks for joining me. Uh, this stuff isn't exactly easy. Some of the hardest stuff in fourth grade. It really is. But if you're doing well, you're a boss. And if you're not, we got to keep practicing. We have to. See you next time. Thanks.